When it comes to satisfying garden transformations, there's nothing like watching untamed bushes being sculpted into striking shapes, monster hedges being sliced into submission, or giant garden ice cream ballers. These are only a few of the weird and wonderful techniques and machines of the gardening world. So let's take a look at some gardeners hard at work with skills so satisfying, you won't be able to stop watching them. Topiary is the art of training living trees into decorative shapes, such as globes, clouds, boxes, even teddy bears. It's a craft that has been practiced for over 2,000 years and is still prevalent today. Just watch the London gardener shear down these overgrown planters into a set of satisfyingly spherical balls by hand. This is a boxwood, one of the most common plants used for topiary. It's a dense evergreen shrub with foliage consisting of small oval leaves, and it's slow growing, making it an ideal plant to keep in the compact conditions of a potted topiary like this one here. But it takes real skill to be able to cut boxwood hedges like this freehand. I mean, drawing a perfect circle is hard enough, let alone trying to trim a bush into an actual globe my hedge would end up looking like the surface of the moon. There'd be so many holes in it. The London gardener sure has some serious skill, and it's really satisfying to see how she ruffles the sides to shake off the cut leaves. But for those of us with clumsier hands than the London gardener, we can employ an easy hack. Just place a measured wire frame over your shrub and trim down the sides that stick out. Ta-da! You'll have your own perfect topiary sphere. That sure makes things easier. Now, as pleasing as it is to see these great green planets being made, what about some more intriguing shapes? Like a classic ice cream swirl. Seems crazy, right? Well, check this out. Although it looks difficult, pruning pro Jocko here makes creating a spiral topiary seem deceptively easy. First, Jocko has sheared down the sides of this young boxwood tree into a cone shape. Next, he cuts a three to four inch wide groove into the tree to create the basic shape of the spiral. On a second pass, he deepens the spiral groove, stopping about halfway from the trunk of the tree. This ensures the tree stays happy and healthy. Finally, he cuts off the branch tips at the edges of the groove to round out the shape of the spiral. And there you have it, a perfect ice cream swirl. Some gardeners use tape to trace the shape of their spiral, but Jocko here is so good, he can do it by eye. That's not only super satisfying to watch, but a mark of real skill. Hand shears aren't for everyone though, and the process can be pretty slow going. So to speed things up, a lot of gardeners power up their saws, like Kurt Wilkinson a true master of the cutting craft. Here he is restoring this giant conifer cone from a scraggly mess. Kurt is using a Husqvarna 520 IHE3 battery-powered hedge cutter, also known as a Husky. Its 32 millimeter teeth are perfect for sliding along the flat surface of the hedge to cut off any outlying branches. And it's way faster than a pair of hand shears would be, as the Husky delivers an incredible 4,000 cuts per minute. Before you know it, Kurt's fine work creates a meticulously cut cone fit for a rocket ship. 
though the Husky isn't the only tool in Kurt's arsenal. He also uses a Makita Dunn 500 WZ hedge trimmer. Check it out in action here as he creates an incredibly satisfying garden centerpiece. Those round boxwood hedges look just like fluffy clouds, don't they? I'd love to bounce across them, though I'd probably trip over the border first and end up crashing through the hedges instead. That would be a catastrophe, especially considering that Kurt keeps these hedges so neat and tidy using the Makita pole hedge trimmer. The Makita is great for garden designs like this, as it comes with variable speeds. You can shift gears between 2,000, 3,600, or 4,400 cuts per minute. This is perfect for tackling the tight corners and precise shaping utilized in this compact hedge design, where you need to go a bit slower to avoid lopping off the wrong bit. However, the Makita's one and a half foot steel blades are too long and cumbersome to get in between the clouds, so Kurt uses a pair of hand shears for this instead. But when it comes to getting straight lines across hedges, the electric trimmer rules all the way. Wow, it looks just like a hedge confetti. Now, trimming a hedge regularly like this doesn't harm the plant. In fact, it stimulates new side growth, making the hedge thicker and bushier, like in the case of this dense hedge wall here. However, if the hedge is cut too deeply, this can jeopardize the hedge's ability to grow new leaves. This can result in patches and the plant dying off as it's unable to photosynthesize. So that's why professionals like Kurt here use a gliding technique to trim the hedge while preventing it being cut beyond the point of repair. What have you found the most satisfying to watch so far? The electric trimmers or the hand shears? Leave a like on this video if you're team trimmers or write a comment down below if you prefer topiary cut by hand. Now, before we move on to some mammoth size hedges, why don't you hit that subscribe button? All done? Great. Now let's see some gardeners that take it to the next level. Whoa, check out the guy tackling a couple of trees he's nicknamed Bert's Balls. Though this may look like a furry green member of the Muppet family, it is in fact a Monterey Cypress Hedge. This potential green giant is kept in check by regular visits from Gardener John here, who needs not one, but two hedge trimmers to complete the job. John is using the Still HLA-65 and the Still HLA-85. Both trimmers come with 20-inch steel blades with wide set teeth 1.3 inches apart. These big teeth are perfect for slicing through the thicker branches of this tree and can cut this hulked out hedge down to size very quickly, delivering 3,000 cuts per minute. The Still HLA-85 model is a couple of pounds heavier than its younger brother, weighing in at nine pounds. So John attaches it to the GTA Elephant Harness to carry the load when trimming those top branches. The steel cable pulley system transfers the heavy weight of the hedge trimmer to the harness. This saves John's arms and upper bag from getting sore and tired. But even the elephant harness isn't long enough to tackle this monster hedge. So John climbs up on his custom-made aluminum ladder to reach those tricky top branches, finally transforming this green beast into a giant green egg. For big projects like this, you'll need to save your strength. And the GTM elephant harness taking the weight of the trimmer can be vital to getting a level hedge edge. Mm -hmm. 
The anodized aluminum tube of the GTM Elephant Harness is both light and strong, so you can carry around your hedge trimmer without feeling the burden on your back. And you don't have to worry about getting caught up in the hedges because the trunk can rotate 15 degrees on either side. A practical, but not necessarily fashionable item. Unless you're going to a hedge trimming party. Now a hedge that would require a whole party to tackle is this giant green wall. But only one man was left to the job, professional hedge trimmer Craig Ratcliffe from Southern Cross Gardens. He was skilled enough to take on this conifer all on his own, even though it's four times his height. Man, this thing must be over 20 feet tall. Even with a ladder, he doesn't reach the top. In fact, Craig was supposed to hire a cherry picker to complete this job, but it was unavailable on the day, so this hedge remained unbeatable. Luckily for Craig, his other jobs involve tackling hedges that are much more manageable in size, but just as satisfying to watch. Though it may not be obvious to the naked eye, the face of a hedge should slope inwards to ensure light, water, and nutrients reach the lower branches. Otherwise, if the lower branches die, it can take the whole hedge with it. Again, though, he doesn't quite reach the top. Why, Craig? Why? It's so frustrating. At least when he tackles this hairy hedge, he gives it a mini mohawk before finishing the job. This is a boxwood hedge that looks like it's a few years overdue a haircut, just like I was in the pandemic. Craig makes swift work of this hedge, shaving it down with a Makita pole hedge trimmer this time. Every good gardener has his own collection of hedge trimmers and doesn't settle for just one. And then before you know it, he's done and the hedge is clean cut again. Now for something a little more slow paced, sit back and relax as we watch this soothing cascade of leaves fall from a fire dance hedge With its deep purple foliage, the fire dance shrub is a unique plant for a hedge arrangement, though it needs to be kept in check with regular trimming as it can grow up to 16 feet tall. The distinctive purple color in the leaves is caused by a chemical pigment that the plant only produces when in full sun, which is why when Craig cuts it down, some of the leaves emerging from beneath the top growth are green. Ooh, nothing like a haircut and a color change to make you feel like a whole new woman. I mean, plant. Satisfying as that color changing shrub was though, there's nothing that can beat a good old hedge wobble. Maybe it's the uniform motion, maybe it's the slow-mo effect, whatever it is, I could watch Craig wobble his hedge all day long. Now for another towering hedge where the top is actually trimmed this time. <coughs> Craig. <coughs> Check out Rob here from RJL Gardens in the UK tackling this gigantic Leylandi conifer hedge.
Rob is using a still HS87T with 40 inch blades and an orange catcher plate. One of the heaviest trimmers in the range, it weighs in at a hefty 12 pounds. Meanwhile, the still HSA86 model is only seven pounds. So this is a seriously heavy duty trimmer, perfect for tackling a mighty hedge. But it's the only tool for the job as the Leilandi conifer is one of the fastest growing hedges out there, gaining an average of 35 inches of growth per year. The more common boxwood shrub only grows six inches per year, but Leilandi don't just grow quickly. They can also reach a humongous height of 100 feet. In order to keep this hedge from growing out of control, professionals like Rob here have to come in and cut the hedge down to size. He trims down the new growth to keep the Leilandi shorter and cuts deeper into the sides to make it bushier. It's one hell of a hedge. So far, we've seen some mammoth hedges carved into amazing shapes. But as skilled as these professional gardeners are, sometimes even they require the expert precision of an automatic machine. Take the Orlandi Buxus trimmer, which can turn a small scruffy shrub into a perfect sphere in seconds. Now that is pleasing to watch. The hedge is cut so smoothly with a perfect little wobble at the end. The base frame of the cutter is adjustable so you can shape hedges of different sizes into spheres in seconds. The cutter is powered by a combustion engine, making it a lot faster than a pair of hand shears. And with those wheels, it can be rolled onto the next bush in line with ease. Now, while the Orlandi trimmer has perfect spheres covered, the Isendum pruning machine is the cone cutting king. With one smooth motion, the Azendum pruner can sculpt this boxwood hedge into a seamless cone shape. It even managed to cut that tricky stray branch at the top. Not only that, but its head can be replaced with two separate blade attachments that can cut hedges into flawless spheres too. Designed to quickly and efficiently trim the balls like this while being manually moved along, these machines can cut between 500 and 600 plants per hour. Not only are the rotating arms and spinning blades weirdly pleasing to watch, but the steel blades are removable and come in variable sizes. So the Azendum pruner can take things to the next level, handling even these giant 13-foot conifer trees. Anyone else getting a little dizzy watching this? The giant steel blades used here are four foot, 11 inches long. That's bigger than Danny DeVito. And if pruning one tree at a time wasn't enough, the Azendum is available with multi-cutter cages that can trim five rows of trees simultaneously. So you could effectively prune an entire pine forest in a day. It's pretty clear the Azendum pruner has some seriously impressive blades. But when it comes to supersized trimmers, the Corogan has everything else beat. This mighty machine weighs a whopping 1,550 pounds. Hence, it's a drivable trimmer, as the only person who could use it as a handheld device is the Incredible Hulk. Now that is a Marvel movie I'd pay to see. With seven stainless steel blades, the Corogan is designed to tackle towering hedges that are up to 82 feet tall. When idle, the retractable knives are magnetized and held back against their central discs. 
but as soon as the disc rotates, the knives fall forward into prime cutting position. From there, these spinning blades can slide through the hedge top and provide a level finish. But for slightly smaller, the THA 700 model can be brought into play. This self-propelled cutter can reach 22 feet high, but it uses the same cutting mechanism as the larger model. The Corogan machine is a marvel of French engineering expertise. Meanwhile, down under in New Zealand, gardeners have been making their own supersized hedge trimmers as well. Is it a plane? A windmill? No, it's a tank. Well, an AEC tank recovery unit, to be precise. These armored vehicles are boulders of steel, weighing 11 and a half tons, and were used by New Zealand forces in the Korean War. This veteran vehicle has been converted into a hedge trimmer with 16-foot blades strapped to a crane arm. Crazy, right? New Zealanders are taking hedge cutting to a whole new extreme. there's a reason old army vehicles have been enlisted for the job. They helped New Zealand tackle boxthorn, which is a plant originally introduced to New Zealand from South Africa to be grown in hedgerows. However, the plant soon outgrew the technology used to contain it because the timber was too thick to be cut back by hand shears or even electric trimmers. At the same time, World War II had just finished and there was a surplus of army gear. So to kill two birds with one stone, old army vehicles were repurposed into giant bladed hedge cutters. Those giant propeller blades are the perfect weapon to battle against New Zealand's invasive boxthorn problem. And there's something about watching those blades make quick work of the boxthorn branches that scratches an itch I didn't know I had. However, when it comes to machines overcoming nature, there is nothing quite as satisfying as a clean cut line in the lawn. And no machine does it better than the Bex Weed Brush. The Bex Weed Brush has a 14 inch circular blade which slices through the lawn to create a smooth edge. Meanwhile, the weed whacking brush sweeps away any stray plants growing through the cracks of the path, which can move to and fro on a hydraulic arm controlled by the driver in the cabin. It's a two-in-one machine, neatening up the lawn and polishing the path at the same time. The height and width of the blade can be adjusted with hydraulic pumps, meaning it can tackle even the steepest lawn edges. However, weighing in at 375 pounds, it's too heavy to roll over the grass itself without causing a huge dent. For that, there's an equally satisfying alternative. Would you get a load of this super smooth operator? This is the KR Chariot. Not only is it satisfying to watch, but man, does it look fun to use. A foot operated machine, the entire thing works a bit like a Segway. Pressing the front of the pedals nudges the chariot forward, hitting your heels on the back makes it reverse, and leaning down onto either pedal changes the chariot's direction. Being almost entirely foot operated, save for a waist height brake lever, the chariot allows you to zip around your garden holding and using any equipment you need. Man, this guy must be the fastest gardener in the West. The KR Chariot allows you to go whizzing around your lawn at seven miles per hour hauling multiple pieces of equipment. 
Though that may seem slow, keep in mind that even the fastest walking speeds only tend to reach four miles per hour. With two five-gallon gas tanks, you can spend hours lapping around your yard, completing the work in half the time. Although when it comes to the most satisfying gardening machine in existence, I've saved the best for last. It's time to take a look at the Pasaglia Root Ball Digger. This machine is the tree equivalent of an ice cream scoop. Its curved blades slice smoothly through the earth, digging up a tree by the roots, surrounded by a perfect ball of undisturbed soil. Larger trees often will not survive being lifted bare-rooted, so this machine solves the problem by scooping them up in a packed soil root ball. This increases the chances of a successful establishment of the newly planted trees. The root baller has interchangeable blades which can come in six different sizes from 15 inches to 33 inches long, creating root balls from 11 inches to 3 feet across. And with hydraulic powered drive, it is easy to lift and maneuver the unearthed trees to their next destination. This machine certainly is a joy to watch in action, plus it's given me a real hankering for a scoop of chocolate ice cream. Which of these gardening machines did you find the most satisfying? Or did you prefer the hedges sheared by hand? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.